Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley unboxing slash showcase slash preview. Auto World. Love Auto World showcases. Love Auto World showcases. Premium 2024 release one. We are officially here. 2024 with Auto World. I've got the A case. I've got the B case, right? Let's see. Yep. A right here, B right here, and usually I have these open by the time I show them to you, but I haven't done that. This is totally sealed. I know I've seen pictures of what this mix is. I can't remember at all what the mix is, so we're going to learn together. Um, so we'll just get right to it. Like I said, I've said this every time, Auto World's one of my favorite. They're very much, uh, they're 164 scale. Um, they do these retail releases that you can get them at Hobby. Uh, at hobby stores like J car that uh, that I work with you can also get these at I've seen them at Walmart's of course and other stores um, But they do six cars in each mix and they do two different versions an A and a B of each version and That's enough of that. So let's go ahead Get these cut open. Obviously, it's round two slash auto world that sent this to me so I can showcase them for you and we're going to uh, just go one by one Check out these cars, we'll put them on the turntable, everything else. So I'm super excited to do this. Did I get this right? Uh, maybe let's go that way, right? I can't even remember what's new. Okay, let's just do this. I'm gonna start, and usually I kinda know what's going on and I can kinda get a sense of, uh, yeah, well, let's just do this. Let's just pull a car out. Wow. Wow. And let's look for the equivalent of that. Is that the... Oh. <laughs> uh, we're off to a pretty significant start. Let me uh, get the camera situated and check these out. Okay, so you've got Premium Series. This is Release 1, Version A of the 2023 Dodge Challenger Hellcat Red Eye in the Black Ghost Edition in pitch black. There's some information that you can read if you want to. Doesn't say it's a new casting, but here is the model. And this is done in very much a retro. I wanna see the original 1970 Black Ghost. See, I'm gonna read this stuff. Last call Black Ghost Edition pays homage to the legendary 1970 Challenger RT owned by Detroit police officer Godfrey Qualls was painted with a black gator skin vinyl roof. Okay, this is fantastic. This is fantastic. Look at the wheels and we'll, you know, we'll get a better sense when we're putting on the turntable and maybe that's what I'm doing at this point when you're seeing this. Um, there's the artwork, this is the model and let's just get a nice close up of this Challenger Hellcat Red Eye in the Black Ghost Edition. Wheels, aftermarket wheels. This may have been a wheel that had been used years and years ago. We haven't seen it in a while. So it's kind of cool to see it done here. Um, in this uh, in this black ghost homage, it's really cool when they throw back to classic cars, and uh, and this one is fantastic. We'll put this one right here, and let's take a look at this. This might this might be a little bonkers, but there's a reason for this. We'll talk about it. There's the art. This is what it is. This is version B of the 2023 Dodge Challenger Hellcat Red Eye. Limited edition, I think that just means limited to this. I don't think it's anything more than that, but um, custom 14 color wrap. This color scheme is a tribute to the original paint chip Cuda that appeared in the 1970 Plymouth brochure showing all 25 colors that were offered. Auto World did a replica of that paint chip Cuda, and so now they're doing that here with the Challenger, and that's a really unique version. Imagine seeing that on the pegs once it hits. That is super, super cool. I love that, and the sun has come out. Look bring out the colors and of the rainbow and all of a sudden the sun is just bright and we're just happy that is fantastic what a very very cool way to start i know i've seen pictures but i don't even remember that okay let's do the next one let's go a oh i already knew you know what we're not gonna do that one because that's a new casting so let's get to oh yeah yeah okay 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 Okay, all right, let's do, let's do this one here. Dang, look at the colors on this. Version A of the Mustang, let's find version B of the Mustang. We did, look at that. 
Look at this. Holy cow, these are cool. Version A of the 2015 Ford Mustang GT, Petty's Garage version. That's pretty obvious with that color. It's in the Petty blue and black. Obviously, there's going to be some stage two cars were limited to 43 units. There are 100 stage one Mustangs made for Petty's Garage in 2015. We can read the other details here. But clearly, what does it say there on the top? We can see that better on the round table. But it says Petty's, Petty's Garage, I believe, right? In that Petty blue trim on the wheels, obviously on the body, black top. That looks fantastic on uh, this model. I love when... Um, and, you know, I've been doing on Instagram, I've been doing these comparisons of, like, the replica cars and the real car. And I'll do a full Auto World series because, you know, Auto World will do factory colors on a lot of their classic cars, on most of their classic cars. But then they'll do, like, special editions. They've done a ton of them that were, like, limited editions that the car makers did. And that's obviously one of them. And then here is Petty's Garage again. So this would be a replica of an actual Stage 2 2015 Ford Mustang Custom built by Petty's Garage, only 43 of the Stage 2. So we have the Stage 1, right? And this would be the Stage 2 in black with the Petty Blue opposite, right? On these, uh, on this trim on the bottom and on the top. That is sharp. Just a beautiful, beautiful model. Make these highly collectible, yeah. By the way, I have a bit of a raspy voice. That's uh, I've been fighting a cold the last while. So if I sound a little extra sexy, you're welcome. Um, all right, let's see. I see a pickup truck. Let's do that. That's version B. Is this a new cast? Oh yeah, a new casting. So let's, uh, you know, if we're gonna do the new castings, I'm pushing that back in. Let's go Firebird. Oh, <laughs> these are so cool. These are so cool. I'm gonna get the tissue out of the way. Um, now we'll get to that. We'll get the other ones later. Look at this one. And then where's the other fiber? Here it is. Guys, I just love this brand. I love what this brand does. I love the classics that they do. And they have had, these are, these are just going to look sharp on the pegs. I mean, look at that. Version A. 1969 Pontiac Firebird Royal Bobcat. Oh, this is so cool. So cool. 1969 Pontiac Firebird 400 was raced during the 1969 season as sponsored super stock to promote business for the Royal Pontiac dealership. In 1970, the Royal Racing Team was sold to George DeLorean, who owned Leader Automotive. This is so beautiful. I love these old vintage race cars, obviously. I think that's been very clear. And this thing is done beautifully. It'll be fun to look this car up online and see pictures and stuff. I'm going to have fun on these, some of these Instagram posts. Just love the trim on this. It's done beautifully. Wheels, really cool. Five-spoke wheels, everything. All right, there's that one. And then this one, a little bit more stock. Pontiac Firebird again, Royal Bobcat. Um, in antique gold poly. Royal Pontiac, Pontiac was dealer in Royal Oak, Michigan. It specialized in high-performance tuning and racing Pontiac cars from the 1960s. 1969 was near the end of the performance cars coming out of the Royal Pontiac of the 1970 being its last year. So this would have been, I guess, would this have been made for Royal in this color? It says Royal on the license plate. Yeah, I'm going to be looking these up. It'll be fun. It'll be fun to look them up. That's one of the things I love about collecting. It kind of goes without saying, I didn't know about this car before I pulled it out of the box just now. And, uh, and that looks so good. And so does that one. All right. I really like the Challengers. I really like the Mustangs. Firebirds win so far. But look, there's even more. Okay. I see the Chevrolet. Let's go with the Chevrolet. All right, guys. Three new castings. Three new castings. And this one's kind of classic. So we're going to go. Let's go with that Ford we saw. Oh. Cow, this is good. This is good. This is good. New casting of the 2020 Ford F-150 Lariat. I think we've seen this silhouette before, but there's probably some details on this one um, of the Lariat. This is the first release of our new 2020 Ford F-150 casting with all new front grille and wheels. So yeah, I think the silhouette is the same. It's that grille and wheels 
and we'll see better on the turntable that's different. There's, your, there's the art. This one is in lead foot gray. This newly to tooled wheel is called the 20 inch machined aluminum wheel and they tooled it up for this casting. So you see that trim, we've seen that trim before on the, uh, on the Ford. 164 scale, so it's big. Trucks seem to be getting bigger and bigger and bigger and it's kind of fun to compare these modern trucks to the more classic trucks and how the more classic trucks look like the little trucks now, right? And then it makes the old classic trucks like the small trucks like the Datsuns and stuff and Toyotas look even smaller. But there's that one, that one's really cool. And then here's version B of the Laureate, Laureate, right? In Magna magma red. New front grill is available on the 2018-2020 XLX SXT or the XLT and Lariat models with special edition package. That one's very nice too. Now, does that one, I'm not a modern truck fan. Nice casting, not necessarily my cup of tea, so to speak, compared to those other three that we've pulled out, but very, very nice. Now this one, another classic truck. Now we've seen obviously the square body uh, Chevy has been wildly popular for years and years in the auto world family and now they bring out a new chevy silhouette this is the 2003 chevy silverado a very familiar truck as well right but basically came after this silhouette right i mean this is more the early 2000s but when did the square body end mid 80s this is the first release of our well there's the art this one comes in victory red this is the first release of our all new 2003 Chevy Silverado casting. Wheels look new. Tan interior. We'll get the engine open on, on these new castings. We'll of course get the hood open for sure. So you can see it at least not on, maybe not on this one, but I'll do it on the green one on the version B. I like that it's not an extended cab. I think on those, on this, I mean, this is not super modern, right? This is a 20 year old truck, but um, I, sometimes you just want to see that standard pickup truck silhouette. And I think that looks great. That's the Victory Red. This one is version B, Woodland Green. Same wheels, right? Yeah, very similar wheels. This time it doesn't get the, um, what does that say on it? Is that what kind of tire is that on there? I can't see that on the red, what that is, because I'm probably a little blind. But uh, it's not, is that a BF Goodrich? I can't tell, but uh, this one doesn't have it at all. Nice and stock looking too, which is very, very nice. It's easy to see how the nickname Cat Eye caught on for this era of Silverado pickup. The slanted headlights were often compared to those of the big cat like a panther or tiger. Makes sense. Nice to see that truck. Nice to see that truck. I, Auto World, like Tomica Limited Vintage, has that approach where they'll do some pretty hype, hyped up kind of cars, but then occasionally they'll just do something just beautifully done, just stock. Now, speaking of interesting, it is so cool to see Auto World tackling this car, and I've been very, very excited to see it in person. And here is their newest Japanese casting, the 1990 Mitsubishi Eclipse GSX. This is cool. This is, we've seen the Starion. We've seen the uh, 3000 GT. Any other Mitsubishi? I know they've done a couple Toyotas as well now too. So this is our first release of the all new Mitsubishi Eclipse casting plus all new wheels. This is, I think this would be considered an aftermarket wheel. I don't know if it says, maybe, I don't know. I don't know if it says the other one. This one is in LaSalle Silver. I remember a friend having this car in high school. First gen Eclipse is a result of a joint venture between Chrysler and Mitsubishi beginning in the mid-1980s, named Diamond Star Motors with its name derived from the logos of each company. Interior on this looks really nice. I don't know if it really comes across here on the video, but I remember sitting in this car and feeling like really deep into it. Like it was, it felt like, there's some wind, sorry. It felt like, um, hold that in that you're in the cockpit of a plane. I remember feeling that compared to the other cars that we were in at the era. Okay, that thing is super, super cool. And that aftermarket wheel is super, super nice too. We're gonna see that. Uh, you might see that with uh, some, something with my name on it soon. All right, um, version B of the GSX in 
Calapana Black, I think is what that says. Here it is in jet black with the silver aftermarket wheels. We'll get the hood opened on this one too so you can see it. This thing is so cool too. Art, I should show you the artwork. And here's the model. The color of that interior is interesting. It almost looks, I guess you'd call it like a gunmetal gray on the dash. They must have used some sort of metallic look and Autoworld has done a nice job of replicating that. This thing's really cool. And you know, you don't see the Eclipse, especially this generation of Eclipse getting that much love. And uh, there's no better company to do it than Auto World taking on this car. All right, guys, you guys tell me what you think. I don't even know. I mean, I'm, I think I'm probably most excited for this pair, but I think my favorite pair is the Firebird. It's just a stunner. You guys tell me what you think. I'll put these, uh, I'll get the turntable shots done, and this video will go up. Look for this very, very soon at your favorite hobby dealer. Thank you. Bye.